ovulation before menstruation. In a normal case ovulation usually occurs 12 to 16 days before the onset of menstruation. If the cycle is short 21 to 23 days, it means that ovulation during menstruation or immediately after it is quite possible. Late ovulation is also possible after the 16th DC, for example, on the 2030th DC, then women are already expecting their periods. Ovulation from the 7th to the 30th day of the cycle is quite acceptable and does not interfere with natural pregnancy. You only need to determine in the right way the release date of the egg. In this video, we will analyze how ovulation for menstruation is calculated. What does it mean if bloody discharge spotting begins after ovulation? How many days after ovulation women have to wait for menstruation? Menstruation goes on the day of the follicle rupture. How to explain this? When to take a pregnancy test? How to calculate ovulation according to menstruation? The calendar method for determining ovulation according to menstruation is suitable only for women with a stable, regular cycle. If the period from the first day of the previous menstruation to the first day of the next menstruation is always firmly the same, plus or minus one day, then it is easier for you to calculate the fertile period on the calendar. Please read in detail about this detection method in the linked article on ovulationdiary.com. Links to the article in the description. Formula for calculation ovulation day by menstruation. To determine the date of ovulation, it is necessary to subtract the length of the second phase, which begins immediately after the release of the egg from the cycle length. For example, a cycle of 31 days, the luteal phase, phase 2, 15 days, then ovulation will be on the 16th DC. If the length of the second phase is unknown, it is enough to calculate ovulation day one time more accurately. You could also use the average duration of the second phase in the formula. 14 days. The table for calculating the day of ovulation for different cycle times is added in the article. Links to the article in the description. It is enough to calculate your number of days and on the contrary. There will be possible day for release of the egg. Ovulation. How many days does menstruation come after ovulation? If the situation with hormones is alright, then menstruation always begins on the 12-16th day after ovulation. Its length is constant for every woman, in most cases 14 days. Interesting. Almost all online calculators use the average length of phase 2. But in reality for different women, this number may differ, so there may be a mistake in the date of ovulation. Hence the conclusion. You should not rely entirely on the finished calculator, it is better to calculate your individual length of the second phase once. All women may have a different length of the second phase from 12 to 16 days. It depends on when to wait for the period after ovulation. For example, if the cycle is 30 days, and the luteal phase is 15 days or 12 days, then the date of ovulation will be 15th DC, or 18th DC and the online calculators will always show the result. Ovulation occurs on the 16th DC. Menstruation during ovulation cases. It is assumed that you have precisely determined the presence of ovulation. There was an ultrasound monitoring positive test for ovulation on LH, tests for crystallization of saliva and other reliable methods. If your usual, normal menstruation ended a few days ago and suddenly there is blood, spotting again during ovulation, then this is probably ovulatory bleeding, not menstrual. Ovulatory bleeding is often confused with menstruation. Ovulation spotting is characterized by the following symptoms. Their usual duration is not more than a day, very rarely two. Over your lower abdomen pain, the lower back aches, the discharge is more reminiscent of a light daub of brown or pink color, rather than normal heavy periods. There are no cramps. The next day everything passes and the basal body temperature begins to rise above the usual level of the first phase. Attention, for girls who know only about the menstrual cycle in general, I recommend reading this article. 
in which I explain that ovulation does not necessarily occur on the 14th DC, and if menstruation does not occur at normal times, then this does not mean a missed period. Link to the article is below. It may seem to you that these periods began during ovulation, but most often it is ovulatory bleeding. Or you simply incorrectly determine the release of the egg, since normal menstruation comes only two weeks after it. Early ovulation. The second possible reason for menstruation is simultaneous with ovulation when the latter occurs early during menstruation on about the 7th DC. Usually during the ovum release period the secretions are scarce. It is important, if during ovulation another day or two will be spotted, it is okay. In the case when you have long periods and a small spotting lasts longer than 8 days, you need to consult with a gynecologist. Such symptoms may manifest, for example, endometriosis, fibroids, and other problems with a woman's reproductive health. To make sure that it was ovulation that occurred during your period, wait 12 to 16 days. Most women have 14 days. After that, menstruation and a new cycle will begin. Note, for those who draw the basal body temperature chart immediately after ovulation, you will notice an increase in BBT. It will be highly increased approximately two weeks before the next menstruation. This is the normal female cycle. Immediately after ovulation, BBT began to grow. Ovulation occurred on the 12th DC confirmed by ultrasound and tests for LH. For more information about ovulation immediately after menstruation, read this very detailed article with pregnancy statistics. Link in the description. Ovulation test during menstruation. LH tracking by ovulation tests can be used during menstruation. In addition, tests that track the crystallization of saliva for an effect will be indicative. If you have a short menstrual cycle, 21 to 23 days, then ovulation may well occur already on the 511th DC. It is better to start testing with the help of tests for LH from the 3rd DC when the menstruation bleeding is already weak. Such a large difference in the estimated date of ovulation is due to the fact that your real luteal phase length is unknown. If you know it, then it will not be difficult to calculate the date of rupture of the follicle. Tests should be taken two days before this day to compare the strips and dynamics. Ovulation immediately after menstruation. In women with a short menstrual cycle of 23 days or less, ovulation occurs almost immediately after the end of menstrual bleeding. The mid-cycle rule does not work here. It turns out as follows, if the cycle, for example, is 23 days and the length of the second phase is 15 days, then the day of follicle rupture is 8th DC. Ovulation occurs on the 8th day of the cycle almost immediately after menstruation. Advice, if you are planning a pregnancy, the first sexual intercourse should be on the 6th DC. And the next on the 8th, then on the 9th. It means that you will have the highest chances of finding active sperm exactly at the time of release of the egg. It is logical that if your cycle is about 30 to 32 days, then the onset of ovulation before the 14th DC is completely excluded, since there simply is no second phase more than 16 days. Only in case of pregnancy. Late ovulation and menstruation. The term late ovulation is called any day later than the standard 14 to 16 DC. It does not matter on which day of the cycle the follicle ruptured, after this moment the same woman has a constant number of days from 12 to 16 until the next menstruation. If ovulation, for example, occurred on the 24th DC, at your length of the second phase or just 14, this works for most, and you will get the length of your cycle. 38 DC. First day of a new cycle the day after it. A common mistake, perhaps at the moment when you think that menstruation should already start the second phase is still ongoing. That is why everyone who is planning for a baby with an unstable, long cycle. I recommend always calculating the date of ovulation. For non-planners this article will also be useful, it will dismiss your excessive worries. Ovulation during missed period. 
Very often during an unstable cycle, women think about a missed period, but actually there was no ovulation yet or the second phase is still ongoing. It is believed that a cycle of up to 45 days, ovulation on about the 30th DC, is normal if everything else is within normal limits. Here is an example of a pregnant BBT chart, where ovulation occurred at a time when many girls were already waiting for their period. It is very good that this woman was tracking her ovulation. The slide shows ovulation during an erroneous missed period in menstruation. Pregnant BBT chart. Ovulation on 31st EC. Hint. Before talking about the missed period, you need to make sure that ovulation has actually occurred. If you did not track it, wait for your period and from this cycle begin to monitor the release of the egg. Only if you have a super stable cycle plus or minus one day or 100% had ovulation more than 16 days ago, then this is a missed period and you can take a pregnancy test. If you get pregnant a week before your period, will there be a menstruation? Fertilization is possible not earlier than 12 to 16 days before the expected date of menstruation. If you expect the next menstruation based on the calendar method and not on the day of the actual ovulation, this is not entirely correct. Since this method does not take into account spontaneous cycle failures, the egg will come out sooner or later than usual. When an unprotected contact occurred a week before the expected date of the beginning of menstruation and the egg was released during this period, then automatically the first day of the new cycle. The beginning of the missed period shifts about 14 days in advance. At least for those who have normal hormones. This means that there will not be menstruation a week after this ovulation. If spotting began, then this is not menstruation, but possible implantation bleeding. Links are provided below. It usually occurs 7 to 10 days after ovulation. Important. During pregnancy. Real menstruation in most cases does not happen, only a small and short spotting. Sometimes this happens with a perfectly normal developing pregnancy. If after two weeks after confirmed ovulation, spotting, not menstruation, starts and the tests show a positive result. BFP, you need to consult a doctor just in case. If the real, meaning your usual, menstruation began, most likely, the pregnancy failed or it can be ectopic pregnancy. When to do an HCG test if conception occurred a week before the expected menstruation. The first ultra-sensitive pregnancy test can be done on the 7-8th DPO, days after ovulation. The day of the estimated conception, HCG in the urine appears only after implantation of the embryo. And this happens about a week and a half after fertilization. So, on the 7-10th DPO, the test for HCG can already show a second week strip. The first early signs of pregnancy are described in great detail in this article. Link to the article in the description below. Ovulation a week before menstruation. Pathology. I remind you that a one-time event, such as confirmed ovulation, and after a week real period can occasionally happen due to hormonal failure. Only with their stable repetition are difficulties with the onset of pregnancy likely. Here is a chart of EBT with a shortened second phase only 8 to 9 days. Luteal phase deficiency treatment is required. It is difficult to maintain a pregnancy if the corpus luteum produces progesterone instead of actively working 10 to 12 days only works for a week. Real menstruation a week after confirmed ovulation may indicate luteal phase deficiency. Normal two phase length is 12 to 16 days. When ovulation constantly happens 10 days before menstruation, it is not so critical if there is enough progesterone. This is interesting. A progesterone test is given on the 7th DPO and not on a specific, for example, 21-24th day of a cycle. As doctors often prescribe, by the 21-24th DC, it is possible that you also did not have a follicle rupture. What progesterone can you talk about then? The normal level of progesterone in the luteal phase should be in the range of 2.51 to 25.01 nanograms per milliliter. 
from experience, during breastfeeding, when my daughter was already over a year old. I ovulated several times and after a week my normal menstruation began. The doctor explained this by the action of prolactin correction is not required. Ovulation before menstruation. Is it possible to get pregnant? Yes and no. The fact is that the normal distance from ovulation to menstruation is 12 to 16 days. A shorter distance indicates impaired reproduction. If the test or another reliable method of calculation showed ovulation and then after a day or three or a week the usual menstruation began. The probability of successful fixation of such an embryo is extremely small. It will come out with blood. Such cases are rare and not the norm. This requires a mandatory consultation with a doctor for the diagnosis and correction of hormonal levels. Another thing is if you do not know the exact date of your ovulation and just on the calendar calculate the beginning of your period. If for some reason, the release of egg occurs later than expected, shortly before the usual period of the onset of menstruation and there will be contact on these days. Then it turns out that the woman became pregnant after having in sexual intercourse before menstruation. Pregnancy as a result of early or late ovulation is not different and develops in the same way as with a standard egg releasing date. And finally, when calculating the first day of a missed period, rely on the exact determination of the day of ovulation and not on the calendar. Even women with perfectly even cycles experience sudden malfunctions. Consult your gynecologist if you notice a shortening of the second phase to 10 days or less. I wish you good health and happy child planning.